Hi, Freaky Waves here. I'm going to show you how to sound design for a bass. I put up a little example here. So I made a simple beat with a kick on the floor and a simple bass melody to showcase the presets I'm gonna teach you to make today. I made this preset with Vital, but of course, you can follow up with any synth that you like. So now we are going to recreate the bass. So basically what you want to do is have three oscillators. One that is on the zero, so at the note that you're pressing. Then one on octave down and one other one octave up. You want to make them all sine waves. Because... We're gonna distort them later and they interact very well with distortion. They do very nice harmonics. You put the filter to the high pass. You make sure that every single oscillator is rooted to the filter one, of course. Then you put the resonance to about 70%. You put the key track on and put the drive up. Don't worry, we're gonna add more distortion with the distortion plugin effect, more of it. Put the drive to like 6 dB, then put the envelope on it. Put it a little bit down so it does not do it too much. And then put the pre-filter on after distortion. And then we're gonna key track it, but there's no key track button, so you just drag this node parameter here and you put it on the cutoff you put it full on and then you make it bipolar and you tune it to like between 70 and 75 depending on what you like you can pretty much tune it but the ratio will be the same across the whole keyboard now you put a very short attack to like 0.03 and you decay like 0.5 or 0.6 and sustain to like 0.5 or 55 yeah of course this bass is gonna be a little bit different to the one I made before but you get the, the basics and you now you have the knowledge to make your own quick bass and I think it sounds pretty good. It's pretty rich because of the three oscillators. So I'm gonna do a before after. So that's the bass I designed before. And that's the bass I just remade right now. Oh. I forgot one little detail. You need to put the envelope to the filter. So it moves it uh, 12. 12, 12 semitones up and now it's the same there's one little detail left that I forgot is the slight unison I put so the bass isn't so flat so you just put uh, two voice and one person so it just gives a little bit of stereo wideness and now you can't make the difference between the two yep they're basically the same so that's how you make a bass i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like my video subscribe and share this video to your friends that like to produce music and enjoy your life